Well, you might think the Golden Globes is one of those boring award shows that air throughout the year. Tonight we learned that some of you out there may be very, very wrong about that. From jokes to North Korea to Bill Cosby imitations, I'm pretty sure nothing was off limits this year and we have loved every second of it. You're back at Clever's Trophy Life coverage and right now we're counting down seven of the most OMG moments from tonight's 72nd Annual Golden Globes. At number seven, we have what was almost a severe wardrobe malfunction that, to be honest, we're not sure if anyone would have even been mad about. Our girl Jennifer Aniston joined Benedict Cumberbatch on stage to present the very first award of the night, and things got a little bit scandalous as she walked up the stairs. Um, hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah, let's get a slow-mo on that. Uh, you're okay, Jen. You're in the clear, I think, but that was a close one. I'm beginning to think we actually need spotters on stage to help these people. First, there's J. Lost Tumble at the Oscars, and now Jennifer Aniston almost flashes her Britney. Let's get some damage control up in here, people. Anyway, moving on to our next OMG moment was when J.Lo and Jeremy Renner took the stage to present the award for Best Miniseries or TV Movie. And the Golden Globe goes to... You want to open it? You want me to do it? Yeah. I have the nails. Yeah, get after it. You got the globes, too. Um, <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton. So you know when you're like a thinking something that you shouldn't be thinking and it accidentally comes out of your mouth? Yeah, we're pretty sure that is exactly what happened to Jeremy here. And it just so happened to involve J-Lo and her boobs. And it just so happened to be on live television during the Golden Globes. No big deal. But Jeremy wasn't the only one feeling a little feisty this evening, as usual. Ricky Gervais had some colorful comments to add while presenting the award for Best Actress in a Comedy or Musical. Yes, after first joking about what horrible people celebrities are, <clears throat> he went on to reference our favorite award show moment of all time. The wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazeen. I've been practicing saying that last name so I don't have a John Travolta moment. So I got, I got away with it. I still watch that every day on YouTube. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's just brilliant. <laughs> oh, yeah. But what makes that moment even better is that the name he was referring to that he supposedly practiced beforehand, he completely butchered. Let's hear it. Quebenjani Wallace, Annie. <laughs> FYI, the proper pronunciation is Quavenjane Wallace. It's Guavengene Wallace. And if things couldn't get any more inappropriate, it was only a matter of time before the North Korea joke started flowing. Oh wait, they dropped those in the opening monologue. But anyway, things got even more politically incorrect when the hilarious, or should I say hilarious, Margaret Cho stole the show with her role as the North Korean. There's not much to say here, and here are just some of the highlights. But who do you want to take a picture? <laughs> okay, come on, get a flat like Birdman. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think that orange is the new black should be in drama category. It's funny, but not haha -ha fun. Okay. I host next year. Good night. Now, if only the interview had been as funny as all of those jokes about it tonight, maybe then North Korea wouldn't have been so mad about it. Our next moment is on a whole different spectrum, you guys. Number three goes to George Clooney for the most adorable acceptance speech in the entire universe. <sighs> Not only did he pay tribute to Robin Williams and Lauren Bacall while he accepted his Lifetime Achievement Award, but then he broke the internet when he said this. Listen, it's a humbling thing when you find uh, someone to love. Even better if you've been waiting your whole life. <laughs> And when your whole life is 53 years, you know, I'm all, whatever alchemy it is that brought us together, I, I couldn't be more proud to be your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I just, my heart just melted. It's on the floor. It's just the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Moving on to another heartwarming moment of tonight's evening, CW star Gina Rodriguez took home the best actress in a TV comedy or musical and her reaction made me feel like I won the award for best actress in a TV comedy or musical. No, but seriously, how adorable is this? My father used to tell me to say every morning, today's gonna be a great day again, and I will. Well, Dad, today's a great day again, and I did. We honestly are so happy for Gina and the rest of the cast, and can't wait to see what season two of Jane the Virgin is gonna bring us. 
Wait, before we move on, let's talk about how Homegirl was seated so far away from the freaking stage that she had to run a full-on marathon just to accept her award. They made her work for that, and that is just not cool, y'all. Finally, the number one OMG moment from tonight's show, without a doubt, came from the show's hosts, Amy Poehler and Tina Fey, when they dropped not one, but multiple Bill Cosby impressions. I don't know if you guys saw this on the news today, but Bill Cosby has finally spoken out about the allegations against him. Cosby admitted to a reporter, I put the pills in the people! The people did not want the pills in them! No, Tina, that, hey, that's not right. It's more like, I got the pills in the bathroom, but I put them in the people. And with that, we wrap up our list of seven most OMG moments from tonight's Golden Globe Awards. Did we miss any moments that you think should have made the cut? Let us know in the comments below. And then you guys can also click right here to see all of the winners from tonight's big show. I'm Erin Robinson. Thanks for hanging at Clever. And if you're looking for even more Golden Globe coverage, click to the left to see how amazing JLo looked as per usual. Or you can click to the right to see Lord's Ensemble from the red carpet.